Now, we come back to the master of statistical mechanics, the person that taught us how to look at the distribution of energy among molecules and the distribution of, mo of molecules within different regions of space. Turns out they are extremely similar in their analysis. And on the tombstone of Boltzmann is written this equation. The change in entropy is equal to the Boltzmann contribution times the natural log of the ratio of the number of microstates in the final state divided by the number of microstates in the initial state. So now we have a direct connection between a quantitative calculation of the change in entropy and the number of microstates involved initially and finally. And so let's look then at our initial state. Let's suppose we start with our 10 molecules in the left-hand side, but we have a valve that's closed, so they can't escape into the right-hand side. So that's going to be our initial condition. Our final condition, which we'll designate as F, represents all of those possible microstates. And so we have to calculate the number of microstates in the initial condition and the number of microstates in the final condition. But we know how to do that. And by the way, this B that represents Boltzmann's constant was not written on his tombstone. Um, he was far too modest. He simply stated that the change in entropy is proportional to the logarithm, the natural logarithm of the ratio of the final number of microstates to the initial number of microstates. And that proportionality constant he simply wrote as k. Well, it turns out he was absolutely right on that representation of, of the change in entropy. And notice that we've done this molecule by molecule. This is a microscopic analysis of what's happening to this system. So now we're ready. We can do the calculation very quickly because our number of microstates initially is equal to our 10 molecules, 10 factorial, and then the number of molecules in the left-hand chamber is 10 factorial. And so there are no molecules in the right-hand side, so we ignore that. And boy, that's a really difficult calculation. That's equal to 1. So our, the number of microstates in our initial configuration is 1. Now, what about the final number of microstates? Now, in this case, we're going to have to sum up over n possible configurations what the number of microstates is for each one of those. And it turns out, for 10 molecules, when we count them up, there are 11 possible configurations. And this is true no matter how many molecules we have. And so when we add all of these up, it turns out that that's equal to 1024. But there's another very important relationship here. 1024 is 2 to the n, where n is the number of molecules. In our case, this is 2 to the 10th power. And that allows us to calculate the final number of microstates. But now Boltzmann told us that delta s, which is equal to s final minus s initial, is equal to the Boltzmann constant times the log of the number of microstates in the final configuration divided by the number of microstates in the initial situation. We can write this as the Boltzmann contribution times the log of the final number, which is 2 to the n, divided by the number of microstates in the initial state, which is 1. But now we can come back and borrow a very handy expression from logarithms. And that is, if I take the natural log of quantity a raised to the power x, that's equal to x times the logarithm of a. And that th makes things extremely simple, because now I have delta s, the change in entropy, is equal to the Boltzmann constant times the natural log of 2 
to the n divided by 1. And that means that I have the Boltzmann constant, case of b, times n times the log of 2. Well, we know exactly how to calculate that because the Boltzmann constant is equal to 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per Kelvin. And the number of molecules we have with that, that's just 10. And the log of 2 is 0 0.69. And that gives us 9.5 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per Kelvin for our calculated change in entropy. So that's remarkable. We took an esoteric idea that entropy represents the state of disorganization. It's related to probability. And nature inexorably moves toward a higher state of disorganization. But yet, we've just calculated it. And the reason that we can calculate it accurately and specifically is because of the insight that was brought to us by Boltzmann.